The turmoil in Egypt, the rift between the U.S. and Russia. Madeleine Albright weighs in on some of the diplomatic dilemmas the U.S. is facing around the world. Well, the globe-trotting and groundbreaking former Secretary of State was at the center of a conversation that we had at the Aspen Institute. She made history as the first female Secretary of State. Well, now she is president of her own global strategy firm. She is also a professor at Georgetown University. Well, Moscow has now granted asylum to NSA leaker Edward Snowden. Albright says that relations between the U.S. and Russia are complicated because of what she calls Russia's identity crisis. There is a lot that is similar in terms of the way that uh, Russia has behaved over the years. And uh, I do think that the United States would like to have a partnership relationship with Russia. Uh, however, um, it takes two to reset. Um, and I think that part of the issue is that the Russians are going through an identity crisis of their own, having been the other superpower. And I remember going there in 91, and the people in Russia were em embarrassed. They would say, we've caused so much trouble, and yet they had an identity issue. And they'd say, now we're just Bangladesh with missiles. <laughs> and so part of what has happened is this identity crisis. And what I find really, really depressing is the role that Russia is playing in what is going on in Syria. And it is not one where there is a sense that they can be partners in bringing peace and stability, but much too much involved with their own image at the time, uh, at this time. And I think that the U.S. can try as hard as it wants to, but if uh, President Putin has different views, it is very difficult as he tries to burnish his image and that of Russia. Albright also addressed the turmoil in Egypt following the coup that removed President Mohamed Morsi from power. Now, she says the U.S. is facing a real dilemma here over whether or not to cut off aid. Democracy is not an event. Democracy is a process, and many countries are still learning it, including our own. Um, and we are imperfect in that ourselves. Part of the, and it goes, we've had questions about what is the role of the United States? What, are the, what is the leverage the United States has? There's diplomacy, bilateral and multilateral. There are the economic tools, the carrots, which are aid and trade, and the sticks, which are uh, sanctions. Then there's the threat of the use of force, the use of force, intelligence, and law enforcement. That's it. There is nothing easier, if I could say that, than cutting off everything. The problem is the following, is if we cut off all assistance, which is what happens if you declare it a coup, we will not have any influence whatsoever. And the question is how to use that tool in a way to try to bring about some change in Egypt to make sure that the relationship between Israel and Egypt stays intact. Now, we also talked about domestic issues as well here in the United States, and Albright says that she was appalled by the verdict in the George Zimmerman trial. We're going to bring you those comments, very candid comments, actually, on the death of Trayvon Martin and race relations in America. That is coming up in the next hour, and Michael, I have to say, I mean, she, she just puts it all out there. Right? She is not lady. afraid to tell you exactly what she feels, and she believes, as a proud American, that there are some racial issues that have to be worked out yeah. as part of our identity. Because she says the world is watching us. They're yeah. watching what we do. Looking forward to that next hour. Suzanne, uh, great conversation there uh, with the former Secretary of